you first open Photoshop, you'll see a screen similar to this one. This is the uh, Essentials workspace of Photoshop. If your screen looks uh, somewhat different, select the Essentials by clicking Window, going to Workspace, and making sure that Essentials default is selected. You can also go to the top right button and making sure that Essentials is selected. If you have Essentials selected already and the screen still looks different than, th than this one, click on Window again, go to Workspace, and reset the Essentials theme. This will bring back a screen that looks exactly like this one or at least very similar to it. Like I said earlier, on the left side, your toolbar is available. This is where all the tools that we'll be using during the course are located. And there's a whole bunch of them, but don't worry, I will only be using a couple of them during any particular assignment. So don't think that uh, you have to suddenly remember what all these icons mean just yet. You'll see that the tool icons have a little arrow pointing down and to the right. What this means is that the tools have more selections underneath. I'm going to click the left mouse button and hold it for a couple of seconds. You'll see that not only do I have this one tool here, I have three more to select from. If I wanted to use an elliptical marquee instead of a rectangular one, I would select it there. I would click and hold again and bring back the rectangular one if I wanted that one, and so on and so forth for all of these tools. You can display this toolbar in two columns by clicking the two triangles on top. The triangles will now turn to the left. That means that I can collapse. Whenever you see something pointing right, that's the way that the uh, column will expand or, or contract. For example, in this middle column, this is pointing left. It will expand to the left, and now I can contract to the right. I can also change the size of the column by finding the edge and dragging it out. And you'll see that now I have icons and that little text label that describes what the icon does. I can still expand and collapse and bring back all the way in. At any time you can access the content of the icon panel by clicking on it and uh, bringing it to display. We'll only do it one at a time. This is all done so that you can have more space to work with and you'll notice how you have a lot more space in your work area to work with larger images if that's the space you're needing. On top you'll see we'll have the property bar the property bar will allow us to adjust the settings for each one of the tools. You'll see if you click on the different tools that the property bar changes every time that you click it. It'll give you different selections. It'll give you different adjustments that you can make. Most of the panels and the tools are also accessible by using the menu items on top. Photoshop will also give you a shortcut on how to access the panels by just using a couple of keystrokes. Same thing goes for the tools.